Welcome to another episode of Alem Legal Spotlight. My name is Simle Olalusi. I'm an executive associate at Alem Territors. And here with me is Damlola Akinyemi, an associate at Alem Territors. Damlola, it's nice to have you here today. Thank you very much, Simi. Okay, so your topic, real estate finance, seems very catchy. Can you just give an, us an overview of what real estate finance entails? Oh, okay, thank you very much, Simle, for that. But before I start explaining what real estate finance entails, I would like to first explain what real estate is. So real estate refers to the physical land, like mm-hmm. we all know, and then mm-hmm. all the appurtenances are fixed to it. You know, it includes the permanent structures like home, improvement attached to the land, whether they are natural or man-made. Mm-hmm. So we have different categories of real estate. We have them, it can be residential, it can be for industrial purpose, it can be commercial, it can be the raw land, it can be for special use. Mm-hmm. Get. So real estate finance is a branch of finance now that focuses on how people purchase real estate. It involves the analysis, the planning, the management of financial resources related to real estate. Okay. So um, related to real estate, commercial loans, and properties. And then another thing about real estate finance is that it's an area of finance that describes several financial methods used by potential investors for securing their independent and capital investment. It also includes financial processes around real estate, such as acquisition, development, construction, and operation of commercial and residential purposes. So, yes, that's what real estate finance entails. Beautiful. Um, can you let us into the sources of real estate finance? Oh, yes. Thank you very much. Um, the common sources of real estate finance that we have in Nigeria, they are commercial banks and um, mortgage institutions. So what this means is that an individual can buy a property with equity funds mm-hmm. and it would, with that get a freehold or a leasehold. So this means that an individual can um, save up money you know, or get money from asking people you know okay. to get the equity fund to get a property for himself or such an individual can take a mortgage loan from a financial institution to execute a mortgage deed so investing in real estate includes purchasing a land you know rental property okay. or purchasing a home or a land so however investment does not have to be direct what i just explained about an individual getting a property is mm-hmm. a direct investment mm-hmm. so there is something also called indirect investment so real estate also has indirect investments that can be made through pooled real estate investment or how oh wow that's beautiful so what does reit mean thank you very much Tim reit stands for real estate investment trust they are corporations that hold or provide funding for income producing real estate across a variety of property industries so a real estate investment trust is a company that invests in a variety of income-producing properties, both residential and commercial. So interested investors can invest in commercial buildings, residential co- complexes, shopping malls, hotels, movie, movie theaters, warehouses, hospitals, and other types of real estate assets. They are seen as one of the most effective ways of managing real estate, and they provide either open-end or closed-end funds. So as an investor... RBIT real estate investment trust they serve as an avenue for you to engage in the real estate market without having to purchase and manage properties yourself. So these investment trusts they combine investors' funds to finance real estate projects, which enable its investors to open to own and manage portfolios of apartment buildings and associated real estate real estate assets. So what I what the real estate investment trust does majorly is they combine they get investment from several investors mm-hmm. and they combine the investment of those investors together to invest in several real estate assets. Mm-hmm. So with the investments gotten from different investors, they get they you know they own, hold, they purchase um, and manage hospitals industries companies residential apartments you know hotels and all that so by investing in a real estate investment trust Mm -hmm. what you are doing is you are not just owning a particular property you have several properties because you have your shares your investment in several properties Mm -hmm. through the help of a real estate investment trust so though real estate investment trust is not popular in nigeria they've been useful to both small and big 
um, property investors, since their shares can be purchased by anyone who can afford to acquire the minimum holding as specified in the initial public offer or can buy from the stock market. So prior to the development of highly ITs, investors could only participate in real estate by purchasing houses, you know, building from the scratch, which most times is, involves a long process and it's capital intensive. Mm -hmm. So with real estate investment trust, one can buy real estate, real estate shares in stock markets and enjoy the benefits associated with investment risk. Okay. So real estate investment trust, they receive income from properties they own and then they distribute at least 90% of those income to their shareholders as dividends. So in Nigeria now, real estate investment trusts are traded on the Nigerian Stock Exchange and they are bought and sold through authorized stock brokers in this form of stock and shares. Thank you. Oh, wow, that was a lot and that was insightful. Okay, so even though you said RITS are not common in Nigeria, I'm sure there will be some companies in that sector already. Um, can you give us examples of such companies? Thank you very much, Timmy. In Nigeria at the moment, we have three major um, real estate investment trusts. Three major. So the first one is UPDC Real Estate Investment Trust, which are like the biggest in that in that sense, you know, mm -hmm. because they they give out ninety percent of their income twice mm -hmm. in a year, which is big. And then we also have the Sky Shelter Real Estate Investment Trust. Then the third one is the Junior Home Real Estate Investment Trust, which is like a subsidiary of the Junior Bank PLC. Thank you. Oh, wow. Okay, so do we have only one form of rent or are there options for investors under the umbrella of um, REIT? We have more than one form of REITs okay. in, um, REITs in Nigeria. Yeah. So we have three types. Mm -hmm. We have the equity real, um, real estate investment trust. Mm -hmm. We have mortgage real estate investment trust and we have hybrid real estate investment trust. So for equity, what's a an individual does is you purchase a land or you own it to manage commercial and rental properties. So what you do there is you are owning, you know, holding it and managing it yourself. So what the investment, the invest investors under the equity Ivy Heights is, though they, they finance the properties you get mm -hmm. in many cases, but their primary focus is on the profits. To acquisition and management. Oh. So equity REITs generate revenues mainly through rents, mm. not the selling of the property. Now, mortgage REITs, on the other hand, they are also called M REITs. They are, they don't purchase, they don't own, they don't manage properties. What they do is they invest in mortgages on real estate properties. So they focus on providing real estate finances by purchasing or originating mortgages and mortgages backed securities. Mm. So they earn income from the interest of those investments. So those, those in properties serve as collateral for the loans the mortgage REITs invest in. The REITs, they have no ownership position in the property itself. Mm. But the third one, which is the last one, is the hybrid, hybrid with investments, real estate investment trust. They combine investment strategies of equity and mortgage by investing both in properties and mortgage okay um a very important question why invest in REITs? real estate investment first has quite a long number of advantages mm -hmm. and the first one is for its diversification mm -hmm. in i in real estate investment trust like i explained earlier you get to diversify your holdings and it reduces risk so are we, um, real estate investment trust they mm -hmm. must diversify where they invest in. They can't invest in a single, they, you know, they, they can't be heavily concentrated in a mm -hmm. single property or single type of property. Mm -hmm. So what IVITS does is it gives real estate investors an opportunity to diversify their real estate holdings. Mm -hmm. Something that is tough to do when you're buying on your own, you know, buying individual investment properties, mm -hmm. which requires large amounts of cash. So this means that an investor can invest in more than one form of real estate. You can have your shares in hotels, have your shares in companies like the building, the real estate part. You can have your shares in um, commercial apartment, commercial properties, industrial properties, residential apartments. So that's one of the advantages. Also, there is liquidity. REITs 
are designed to be highly liquid. So that means that um, unlike the normal or the usual way um, of real estate investment, which is illiquid, they are traded on AVITs now. They are traded on stock exchange. They allow investors to buy and sell shares like stocks. So since AVITs are publicly traded, they offer high liquidity compared to direct real investment, real estate investments, which can be illiquid. You get. So this liquidity gives you more flexibility in your investment, allowing you to access cash if you need to. This type of investment allows you to sell your shares whenever you want, without having to wait for the traditional six months lock-up period. However, the prices that you sell your shares will be solely determined by the market. Then another advantage that um, the real estate investment trust has is professional management. You get to your investment is, is uh, managed by professionals, in the, by experts in their fields. The acquisition, the management, the disposition of the property is managed. So this allows investors to benefit from expert management without the hassle of direct ownership. We also have dividend income as um, one advantage because real estate investment trust, you have to, they are required to distribute most of their income to shareholders, resulting in potentially high dividend yields. There is high return, there is a um, price stability as one of the advantages. So unlike stock and bonds, the value of real estate investment trust usually does not fluctuate as much as other investments do. So they give them that gives them more stable option. Then there is also the convenience part. You know, the process of investing in real estate investment trust is quite simple. All you have to do is to look at the publicly available data to pick what you want to buy at your convenience. So that that's one of those few reasons why you should invest in real estate. Okay. Thank you for that. For my last question, um, so what are the social impacts of real estate finance in Nigeria? Okay, thank you very much. Um, we have several, and one of the things, one of the reasons why real estate investment or real estate finance is important is its development. The development it contributes, or the role it contributes to the development of Nigeria socially. And, you know, the industrialization of um, of people of the country generally and then by by building industries and companies one of the advantages is that it provides employment for those in construction industries and other mm -hmm. people and it's also pro provision of rural and urban house residential apartments for the a lot of populations populated nigerians mm -hmm. that we have so it's the impact is enormous it's mm. contributing to the development and also the fact that in nigeria each shareholder gets to pay tax on each end from the dividends in the investment you know it also contributes to the economy of the country so the impact that real estate investment has in the country they are enormous it helps in the urbanization of the country generally it helps to set people who are on house it also provides employment for those who are into the into the industry. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you so much, Danilola, for such an insightful session. Um, with that, we've come to the end of today's episode. We've heard it from Danilola on real estate finance. And that will be all for today's episode. And I look forward to seeing you in another episode. I remain Timlei Olalusi. Thank you. Thank you.